Dara. We spoke just a couple of fights ago here and you weren't too uh, happy about your performance. How did you feel after that one? Uh, well, the reason I wasn't happy in the past, as I told you, is because I, you know, I rushed a lot of positions. S searching for the finish too quick, trying to force it. Uh, if I had been the likes of the position I got, you know, a couple of fights ago I might have lost it going for a, you know, scrambling too early, whereas this fight took my time, you know, got a, got a read on him the first couple of rounds, realised that uh, if I had a change for the two hooks instead of the body triangle in the back, that there was an opportunity to flatten him out and finish him, which I'd done in the third, so I'm happy enough. I took my time, played it safe, got the job done. There was a few rocky roads, I suppose, on the way as well, you know, he hit you a good few times and... Is, it, is that the sort of fight you kind of need as well to kind of prove that, like, yeah, of course. first of all, you can take the shots down the way, but yeah. also you can come through in a war? Yeah, of course, like, you know, I, I'm coming across all these boys. Uh, on paper, he was two and two, you know, he, he didn't look special on paper. I watched him, and he has endless amount of kickboxing fights. I knew he was dangerous. You know, he's a veteran of that game, and he's going to bring a lot of that over. And, uh, he, you know, he's a clean striker. He's he a lot of power. He's explosive. So, happy to come through that. Um, I don't know, was it the third round? It looked like he dropped me, but he, he just caught my kick on the way down. So it, was, it wasn't, you know, it took a few shots, but it was nothing too crazy. The pace you put on him, was that the plan always? Because, like, you were continuously going for takedowns, continuously pushing him against the cage and trying to take him into deep waters, it seemed. Was that the, the way you were? Yeah, well, like that, that, that to me there was a, a normal pace, you know. Like, I've got cardio for days, you know, I'm, I'm working with Health Matters now. I know my numbers and the tests we're doing. I'm, Fitness is not an issue for me. That was that was a normal pace for me there. You know, I don't think I was rushing anything or putting too too much pedal on the gas. Like so, I'm happy. Yeah. Hey, were you surprised at how uh, long he was surviving on the ground? Uh, no. What I was surprised about was when I was on his back. Usually, I'm able to get the body triangle and uh, use my momentum to come up on top. Uh, but he was very strong, surprisingly, and uh, he used a good base to stop me. So. He kind of put us in a bit of a stalemate on the back and he forced me there. He was good at driving his weight back and staying straight, steady. So that kind of shocked me. It was kind of, usually I can do a bit more from there, but yeah. Were you considering the damage uh, that was being done from the bottom as well and that you had to stay busy with strikes from the top as well? Yeah, yeah I, was I was trying to do damage the whole fight. Like, even from that position, you can't get a wild lot of power in those shots, but I was trying to use my, the tips of my knuckles and my fingers to cut him. I did a few times, so I was just trying to damage him up, piece him up. From wherever I am. Of course, you got a great fall from the crowd over here. Uh, does that make you want to fight here more often, or would you like to try your uh, um, overseas? I'd love, to, I'd lo love to go overseas, you know. Uh, it's 5 0 now, so I don't think it's too far away. Jared, it's the uh, se second time in Featherweight. How is the adjustment going for going down from the end of the Yeah, like, you know, as I said yesterday, it's very tough getting there. Um, it takes a lot of discipline, but. You know, I'm, I'm just as good here at lightweight and featherweight. You know, I can go between the two. Uh, I'd say at the now I'll, I'll stay featherweight, but if lightweight, uh, an opportunity at lightweight arises, you know, I'm always ready. Yeah, you, the last fight you had, obviously, you took a fight between the last Bellator and this one, and it was at lightweight. Do you expect to keep that level of activity going forward, or is there a plan to have a little break now? Uh, I would love to keep the activity going. You know, three minimum a year is what I want, so if I could get that... I'd be more than happy to take it, like. Should we look at that or next in between, or is there going to be an agreement with plans for it? I've no idea, no. Um, but, you know, get back to the gym, start shooting again, um, make a plan for the next one, you know. I don't know where it's going to be yet, but I'd love another one before the end of the year, if it's possible. Dara, uh, congratulations on uh, another spectacular win. That's 5-0 now for the moment, Molly. You've got to be happy now. 5-0, perfect start to your career. Yeah, yeah, more than happy, but look, you know, uh, I'm a realist. Like, I, I know there's a lot, a lot of work to do. There's boys out there above me in, in levels and skill set, you know, and I, I need to outwork them if I'm to catch up and pass those boys out. So I know there's a lot of work yet to do, but I'm doing everything right and I'm improving at a good rate. So I'm just going to keep ticking the boxes in the gym and I'll get there. Dominant performance for the most part, like, aside from the Rocky Bowl in the third round, did you feel like you were in trouble there or did you, did you know you had to Not, not at all. I, like, I, I, I felt like I could take him to the ground whenever I wanted, so there was no, no worry, no panic. So, uh, just like uh, Butch was asking you, you know, is, is, is there a possibility that you might go elsewhere now for your, your next fight, you know, as you know, you're so... Uh, well, I'm, I'm open to anything, like, you know, 
Last time Bellator were good enough to give me the opportunity to fight in Clanmore, so you know if something comes up, why not? If they can give me another fight, I'm not sure what, what's happening with them. I'll, I'll take anything. It's no real odds, man. I'd like another pro like a, a come up against a good prospect around the same stage of his career as me. That'll be that'll be an interesting one. Do you know? Give me someone on the same trajectory and let me steal their hype. I'd, I'd like something like that. You know. Um, after seeing two of your teammates losing tonight, did that uh, change your mindset at all coming into the fight? Did that no, I did. You off a little bit? Not at all. No, but like you know, I've got, I'm gutted to see it, obviously. But you know, I've got my job to do. I have to go out there and stick to the game plan, and that's the game. Hey, for, so, you know. 50% win, 50% lose, you gotta get on man. 100%. And uh, we're not gonna see your brother as well, mm -hmm. following your footsteps, fighting for a title at Time Wars. Yeah. You'll be seeing you there? Yeah, I'm cornering him and uh, he's, he's progressing at a very, very quick rate, so you need to keep an eye on him. He's 19 now, he's, he's a big boy too. He's, you know, he's a very, very big lightweight, so it'd be a nice big wake up for him too, getting down there. But he's, uh, he's really progressing at a very fast rate. You know, he's taking a lot of rounds off me in the gym and uh, yeah, I think big things from him. And uh, how do you see that fight going? I think Ryan's going to be too much for me. He's going to be too strong. His top game's too heavy. He's going to be a problem for him. 100%. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks. Nice one. Thanks so much.